Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy early Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is by far one of my favorite holidays of the year just because I love to cook. I love kind of the whole atmosphere of it and you know, I've never really done a big family Thanksgiving really. It's always just been kind of small. I live in an area where I don't really have a lot of family and it's not really feasible for me to travel for Thanksgiving. So I've always just kind of done something small at home. Well, obviously, now that I've started making these Dollar Tree videos, it's always been in the back of my mind to do a Dollar Tree Thanksgiving dinner. And I know that so many people have already put theirs out. So I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I think other people are doing. So over the course of this week and next week, I'm going to try to upload several small videos that are centralized over a single dish for Thanksgiving and I'm going to make as much Thanksgiving food as I can entirely from scratch from the Dollar Tree. So that's a little bit of a challenge in and of itself because of the limited ingredients. I did just get back from the Dollar Tree. Originally I had wanted to do this as a single video but the length would be tremendous and then my Dollar Tree was out of some ingredients that I needed. So I figured it, it'd be best to just kind of split it up. So today we're going to be focusing on green bean casserole. We're going to do a made from scratch green bean casserole using ingredients from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get into that. So the recipe that I am going based off is Alton Brown's kind of Food Network Best Ever Green Bean Casserole, kind of loosely followed with ingredients from the Dollar Tree. So we have our crispy fried onions, two cans of French style green beans, a carton of milk, carton of chicken broth, some flour, a jar of mushrooms, a jar of minced garlic, some margarine or butter, and then not pictured here is just gonna be salt and pepper, which I assume everyone already has. My Dollar Tree has recently implemented the new $1.25 pricing, so it does increase the cost of some of these recipes. Um, over the course of the week, you'll see that I use a lot of the same ingredients in several different recipes, so it's kind of my goal to go through this whole process and see how much this ends up totaling for the entire Thanksgiving dinner and maybe totaling the individual dishes, but I'm thinking just totaling the whole dinner altogether. So this is for the green bean casserole. Several of these ingredients will be used later on in other recipes as well. So let's go ahead and get cooking. First thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 475 degrees. So that we only have just one dish to clean at the end of this, we are going to make and bake the entire thing in a cast iron skillet. I'm going to start off with the butter and mushrooms. So I'm going to preheat the skillet on about medium to medium high heat. And we're going to add in about two tablespoons of our butter. And that is going to be what we're going to cook all of the mushrooms and everything in. Once the butter has melted and is starting to get kind of hot and bubbly, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the can of mushrooms. We're gonna saute those. Just to try to get a little bit of color to them. Once the mushrooms have started to get some color and brown up, I'm gonna add in about two teaspoons of minced garlic and let that continue to cook. After a minute or two, add in two tablespoons of flour to make a base for a roux and let that cook until the flour is cooked as well. Next ingredient, we're adding in one cup of chicken broth slowly to melt into that flour. Thank you. 
So as you can see, I'm kind of taking my spatula and kind of working around the mushrooms because some of the flour kind of cakes onto the mushrooms and I'm just kind of, I'm not really crushing the mushrooms, but I'm just using the spatula to try to break the flour off of them so it can incorporate with the broth. And once we kind of start to get thickened and it comes back up to a boil, I'm going to add in one cup of the milk. Feel free to use whatever milk you want. Uh, just using 2% here. I thought about getting whole milk, but 2% will do fine for everything I need. Alright, we are back up to a boil, so we can go ahead and add in the one cup of milk. And once again, we're going to continue to stir this and let it cook until it comes back up to a boil and thickens up. You're also gonna wanna add salt and pepper to taste. I would go a little bit lighter on the salt and a little bit heavier on the pepper, um, just like you would with a gravy. Uh, you do need to add some salt, but there's enough salt in the broth and the mushrooms. But I would definitely go heavy on the pepper because you know milk has a tendency to be a little bit on the bland side. So just add your seasonings to taste. Feel free to add other seasonings as well. Um, the original recipe that I'm using calls for nutmeg, but <laughs> maybe this is just me, but any recipe that has ever called for nutmeg that is not like a dessert kind of recipe, like I can taste the nutmeg in it, no matter how little nutmeg you put in there. So I tend to stay away from putting nutmeg in any sort of savory dish because I can always tell that it's there. Okay, so I have been stirring and boiling for around five to eight minutes or so, and you, you want it to be pretty thick. So usually kind of what I'm looking for is when I can drag my spatula through the mixture and it doesn't like instantly fill back in, like I can see the skillet. And just be careful not to burn it. I've still got it on like medium high heat. It's my oven has like numbers through eight and I think I've got it on like a six. So once you get to the thickness that you want, you can go ahead and add in your green beans, mix that in, top it with your French onions and pop it in the oven for around 15 minutes. Editing Rebecca here. I just wanted to say that while the original recipe that I was following called for 15 minutes in the oven, it did not need that long at all. It could have been that it was 475. It could have been that it was the cast iron skillet, whatever it was. After five minutes, it was done. It was bubbling and the French onions were crispy and ready to go. So five minutes in the oven is all it needs, not 15. The green bean casserole is piping hot. It looks and smells fantastic. I have sort of tried it because I had to taste the soup for seasoning, so I know that the soup base tasted really good. But let's go ahead and try it all together with the onions and the green beans and the mushrooms. Try to get a little bit of everything. Green bean casserole is definitely one of my favorite Thanksgiving dishes, and it was one that I didn't even like at all until maybe five or six years ago. So. I definitely have high hopes and expectations for this. I've also never made it from scratch before. <laughs> it's always really awkward when it's hot and I have to sit here and blow on it, but... Hmm. 
Oh. This is quite possibly the best green bean casserole I have ever had. I mean, I trust Alton Brown so much as like a chef. So I knew his recipe was gonna be good, but making it with ingredients from the Dollar Tree is always questionable. The green beans and the mushrooms are super tender. The soup base is perfectly seasoned and creamy. The onions are salty and crunchy. This just hits all the spots. Comfort food level 100. I love this. Definitely one of my favorite green bean casseroles ever. Always impressed that I'm able to make these kinds of things from the Dollar Tree. So I just wanna show you that you can make good quality food with the Dollar Tree ingredients. Um, I know I could have gotten it a lot cheaper if I had just used pre-made cream of mushroom soup, but again, this is Thanksgiving. It's, it's a different kind of vibe, and I wanted to try to create something from scratch that I thought you would feel really good about serving to your friends or your family. You know, if you are invited to a Thanksgiving dinner and you're told to bring a green bean casserole, to me, the people that shop at the Dollar Tree do so for accessibility reasons. So this is a really good green bean casserole that you can make using only ingredients from the Dollar Tree. And hopefully, <laughs> I will see you guys again tomorrow with another Dollar Tree made from scratch recipe.